Hello there, Taylor with the Melody Emperor report. So this thing out here in the South Indian Ocean is up to a high chance per the Bureau of Meteorology and a medium chance per the JTWC. The Bureau of Meteorology is actually already tracking it. There's a tropical low, so not technically a cyclone or a storm yet, but there you go. So there's a satellite loop of tropical low 15U. However, it looks like it's probably going to have a be short-lived, not strengthen very much, and then kind of die off if it does come to fruition in the first place. Or fruition, whatever the word would be. And then over here in the Northwest Pacific, this thing that's been tracked all the way from out here, still just a low chance of tropical cyclone formation in the next 24 hours. So probably not ever going to be an official storm on that one. 99 WP is its designation. So, but otherwise, that's pretty much it, isn't it? The test spaghetti models data out there, the bogus storm, is no longer. So that's that's good. That's good when the, uh, you know, the this has been a test type of data disappears when it's completely irrelevant. So, severe thunderstorm weather-wise in the US today, there is severe thunderstorm weather for this tiny little area. I mean, it's not all that tiny. It's just tiny compared to, like, if it were that big or something. So this is the wind map. Oh, by the way, I should note, nothing is in effect right now. No mesoscale discussions, watches, or warning. So this is apparently something that will kick off later on. So this would be the map that shows the probability of 58 mile per hour and greater winds. The map that shows the probability of one inch or larger hail. And the map that shows the probability of any type of tornado. And by type, I mean size, any intensity, whatnot. So basically, the overlap of the 15% chance of... Hail and wind is also where the tornado chance is today. Tomorrow drops down to 5%. Here is your two different severe probability areas. But then day three jumps up to 15% and also carries, not carries, covers quite a large area on day three. So here's your 15% chance and then a decent, decently sized 5% chance around it. However, days four through eight, predictability too low. So... Again, there could be something coming in the longer range. Medium range. I believe that's what day 438 is, technically, is medium range. So, yeah, so maybe things are starting to pick up because it's almost spring. Is it spring yet? I don't know. I did not get the memo. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wickwix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. So I click in as C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. What am I looking for? There we go. That is it for today. Hopefully you're staying safe out there.